Welcome to the city of Huntsville. Population, over 180,000 people. A town with an array of different restaurants, but none like Big Ed's Pizza. Today, we're taking you behind the slides so you can see just why Big Ed's is so popular. You're watching Huntsville's Best Restaurants. I've always liked the atmosphere and the pizzas, and it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to come here. People feel like they're part of the family. There's people that have come for birthday parties years back, and they'll come back here when they're older for their birthday party. It's just kind of uh, just a pleasant place to be. It's almost like a generational pizza where we've had families come in who now we're feeding their kids, their grandkids. So I think once you start out with us, you just tend to keep coming back. Well, one thing, we have good, good employees, then we have a good product started out. And I think that's the main thing that we're successful. It's just good. It's just pizza. I think it's the best pizza. We opened in 1961. Big Ed Newsel was our uh, the originator. He came from Michigan, came down. My dad, Steve, started in 62 out of high school and started working for him and took over in 1968. And we've had it as a family ever since. It hasn't been easy work. It's been hard work. We would get out of school and come down. We would go out and do our homework and stuff sitting there while you had the customers coming and going and they would look over your shoulder and go, oh, you know, are you guys doing math or whatever? Big Ed's is well known for their 1950s to 1960s appearance, displaying autographs of popular country music stars and propaganda from that era. All the decorations that we have are pretty much done um, by our dad. He was a I Love Lucy fan, he was a big 50s uh, rock and roll fan, country and western fan. That's where all the photos are done. They all say to Steve on them. Um, they didn't, these people didn't come in and eat with us, but he would go to Nashville at the country fanfare uh, and then have them autograph the 8 by 10s So it's just kind of neat for the nostalgia of it. And a huge Elvis fan, that's, that's for sure, he, big Elvis fan. In fact, he was such a big fan of Elvis that he modeled the restaurant logo after the King of Rock. Since the day they've opened, Big Ed's has been raved about in a number of different articles, commending them for their great tasting food even going as far to say that 10 bucks can buy you a slice of heaven. They've even won first place in Valley Planet's Best Pizza category. We won this year and we won last year Ooh. for Best Pizza. And that's just a like fan vote type thing, but it's still nice to have people appreciate you. They've been commended for their calzones, their beer, and of course, their great tasting pizza. Almost everything at Big Ed's is homemade, including the dough and the sauce. You might wonder, just what's in the sauce? Tomato paste, crushed tomatoes, and tomato sauce. And then um, several spices. We also add um, sugar, and I guess that makes it non-acidic, because a lot of our older customers can eat it and not leave and have heartburn. They have an array of different toppings, such as pepperoni, ham, green peppers, sausage, mushrooms, black olives, green olives, onions, and so much more. Now for the pizza. The first step into making great pizza at Big Ed's is to run the dough through the roller machine. Excuse me. 
Roll out the dough first and then you add your sauce. give it a nice general coating there. A lot of customers ask for light, a lot of customers ask for extra. And the cheese is the most expensive part of your ingredients, so we do measure that out because it's gotten really high in the last couple of years. There's your onions. You got some green peppers. And we just do freehand, like freestyle. That's where you get your toppings. So you got your mushrooms, which are fresh. Okay. Black and green olives. Sausage comes. Um, pellet size are kind of pre-made, whereas our sausage patties are like, fresh. So when we pull those off by hand, they're not going to look as nice as the Italian sausage. So done. And then you slide it in. And the cornmeal helps it slide. If not, it just flips over and it's messy. The end product? A slice of heaven. Earl is making a pepperoni calzone right now. First, he pours the cheese over the dough. Then he adds the pepperoni. Next comes more cheese. Then he folds over the dough and closes it. Next, he puts holes in it. And then your calzone is ready to go. And about halfway through when it comes out, we butter it again and douse it with Parmesan. And that's it. We tested the product ourselves. And the decision, unanimous. The reason we use shears instead of a pizza roller or one of these things is because um, the scissors can cut through our dough better. Like using the roller, sometimes we'll get kind of stuck and your toppings will slide. So for us, we've always just lift and cut with the shears. And we've done that for, gosh, over 50 years. Well, folks, you've seen the atmosphere and the decorations, the pizza, the calzone, and you've heard the testimonies. I think it's the best pizza. The only thing left to do is to come down to Big Ed's yourself. See you there.